Hello guys, welcome to Pokedex. Today I'm not going to be playing a uh, deck that I built. If you guys know anything about the, the Pokemon trading card game or if you follow it, uh, stuff that happens on the social networks, you probably already heard about this deck. So this is the deck that Orion piloted in the um, Florida Regionals uh, this past weekend. Sorry for not playing this deck sooner, but I have a Mega Diancy deck that I wanted to post on Monday and I did not have all the cards for this deck, well, whatever, I'm posting it now, I hope you guys uh, enjoy it, and I hope it's soon enough for you. Uh, from time to time I like to do this, play lists from other people, try to look at other deck building uh, choices and all that, uh, and show you guys really interesting stuff, even if it's not my own idea, so... This is a Flareon deck, uh, and it kinda makes sense, since it's Florida's re Florida Regionals, I think the, the guys there have a soft spot for Flareon. Um, but the greatest thing about the stack is actually the Empoleon, uh, that the only way to get into play is with Archie's Ace in the Hole, and that's uh, pretty cool, I think. Uh, pretty great innovation. Uh, I can talk about that. I think I can talk about that now. So Empoleon, when people talked about the Archie's Ace in the Hole and the Maxis, whatever, um, there was a lot of talk about what can we do with it? We can use it to grab Megas and Primal Pokemon directly into play, but if you actually think about it, the work that you have to do and the, all the deck building constraints that you have to impose on yourself for this to be able to, to for you to be able to do this consistently, uh, it's a lot harder than just dropping an EX Pokemon and dropping a, uh, <laughs> a Spirit Link on it and evolving, so especially if you're reanimating a Groudon or a Primal Groudon or Primal Kyogre and then you still have to put four energies on them. It, it, the worst part of the work is not done yet, so uh, I think the best use for this type of cards is to just grab stage 2 Pokemon because right now they're really really hard to, to get into play uh, and they mostly don't compensate the work you have to do for them uh, with all the size methods running around uh, plus you have to play the rare candy in the same turn that you play the stage 2 contrary to the spirit links that you can play at any time and also protect you against team flare gear so yeah there's a lot going on and I don't think Archie's Ace in the Hole is great there but with this card with Empoleon I think it's and especially in this deck I think it's wonderfully uh, thought out so Empoleon is great with Archies because, well, first of all, as I said, it's a stage 2, so this is like the easiest way to get them into play at this point. In this deck, I mean. It has one, four, 140 HP, that's that's really, really uh, cool for a non-EX Pokémon. It has a great ability that allows you to draw cards and just go nuts uh, once it is in play. And then there's a tech command, which does 10 damage times the number of Pokémon in play for just a single energy, that's a lot of damage, if, damage for just a single energy. and complements really well the basic strategy of the deck because there's no really good Vaporeon that we could be playing in our EV deck so we can hit the water weak Pokemon like Landry CX where it hurts with this dude uh, plus it's going to spend most of its time on the discard pile and that's where we want it for Flareon so the main thing it does is boast up Flareon's attack for one extra damage 10 extra damage, and you can also get it into play, which is pretty cool in this deck. Uh, let's start looking into the Pokémon. We're playing 24 of them. So there's the Audino, mostly for Busybody. You can discard it from your hand to heal status conditions. That's super awesome to get rid of the poison or the sleepness. Um, and it also gets into the discard pile, so you can <laughs> deal more damage with Flareon. We have to play a certain number of Pokémon with a Flareon deck for it to be able to do anything, so kind of makes sense to play stuff like Odino. Plus, don't I have actually seen on the on the stream from the the, the Florida originals, I've seen this guy attacking with hip bump. It deals 30 damage, the defending Pokemon has to flip a coin next turn to for its attack to be able to do anything. So it's good against size method even. Uh, just to prevent him from uh, doing anything against us. So there's that. Oh, you know, pretty cool. There's Dido. Totally understand why he plays this dude. Transform ability. It, it means you can play, put this the guy into play, for example, in the active position. And then if you actually want to attack with that dude, you can just drop an Eevee and immediately evolve it. Uh, it's also great to discard. Um, 
yeah, I totally understand why Dido is here. Nobody's going to Lysander out there Dido and kill it unless it's like the last prize, but that usually never happens, so yeah. Um, then there's a 1-1 line of Swirlix and Slurpuff. It's not one of the most important cards in the deck, that's why it's only 1-1, but it's a nice thing to have, plus it's extra Pokemon. Uh, the drawing ability is pretty good. Um, then we get to the main Pokemon of the deck. We are playing for Eevee and uh, some Flareons and Leafions. We'll get to the, those. Let's just say that he is playing a 3-1 different Eevees. And the 3 he's playing is this one, the one with 60 HP. Uh, the one with Signs of Evolution. Not that you're going to be using Signs of Evolution a lot, but... I mean, you can. It grabs two Pokemon, but... Uh, because this deck is not playing a lot of on-color energy, so we, we we are not going to evolve a lot with energy evolution, so you're better off just playing the Eevee with the most HP, and that's the other one, not this one. Because there's this one with energy evolution, I guess, he, and, he's, and he managed to squeeze a grass energy in here, we'll get to that in a second. I guess it's a nice thing to have to just um, grab with an Ultra Ball and just evolve on the same turn, so... That's pretty cool. There's Flareon, which is the main attacker of the deck, as I said. The deck is built around his Vengeance ability. Uh, you guys already know all about this dude, and also about Lithion. There's not really that much to be said here. Uh, then there's Executes. It's pretty cool that he's playing too, because if we want to arch his ace in the hole, we can actually choose the number of Pokémon that we discard. Imagine that we already battle compressed the Executes into the discard pile, if we need to discard two cards and just leave one Archie's Ace in the hole in the hand, we can do that. If we have, for example, an Archie's, an Ultra Ball, and a Lysander in hand, we can just grab one single Execute and then we discard the Lysander. So we just need to discard one hand to be... So it, it helps with the math to get to the single card in hand, which is Archie's or VS Seeker for Archie's. Um, there's Jirashi X, which is like a supporter in Pokemon form. He's playing two because it fuels our attacker. It is grabbable with Ultra Ball, which allows us to actually play uh, less ends as the early game supporters. So that kind of works really well here. Um, of course, it also means you have a, a 90 HP EX body on the on the bench, but uh, that just means you're like playing with five prizes instead of six. Uh, Sometimes it hurts, but I, I, that's the, the price you pay for, for the power it, you get. There's a Mr. Man, because of Bench Barrier, obviously, to protect your bench. We already talked about Impolian and how great it is. Um, we have four Acrobikes. That it also helps us offset the early game supporters. It's really, really great in this type of deck. I already talked about Acrobikes in my previous decks, so it's one of my favorite cards uh, currently, so I totally see the 4 here. 4 Battle Compressor, obviously. Discards Executes, discards Pokémon that we don't really want for this specific matchup, discards Supporters that we can later grab with VS Seeker, there's all sorts of stuff here. It's just a wonderful, wonderful card. There's the Computer Search, because this is a setup deck, I guess. There's the Town Map, which is a card I don't love, I have to be honest. This is like the, the one card that I would immediately change if I was going to play this deck. I understand playing it because you're running like um, a lot of one-offs, so maybe you want to grab the Mr. Mime, maybe you want to grab a Slurpuff or whatever, but I don't know. I don't know if it's <laughs> better than just grab putting the VS Seeker there because we don't really need a specific card that much, so I don't know. It's here. Uh, we'll, I am trying to be totally loyal with a list that the Orion was playing, so yeah, I'm running it too. There's for Ultra Ball, it's great to discard and it's great to grab the Pokémon that we want. So we're playing the maximum number, totally understandable. There's 3 VS Seeker, which I could be playing the 4th because it works so greatly with Battle Compressor, although we will be discarding a lot of Pokémon instead of uh, supporters, but I guess discarding just a single Sycamore and just grabbing it with VS Seeker would be wonderful. There's Archie's Ace in the hole, already talked about it a lot, so there's one Lysander only, but hopefully you can grab it back. There's Lysander Shroom card, might seem weird playing this in a Flareon deck, but some, some games we don't even attack with Flareon, it's not the best thing ever. It grabs his attackers back, 
grabs his energy back, which is really important. Plus, if we already have, I don't know, um, a Napoleon or a Slurpuff in play and we already have a Battle Compressor in hand, we can license this Trump card and immediately fire off the Battle Compressor again and start drawing cards anyway. So it works for specific matchups, I guess. There's one N, kind of makes sense because we will be hitting hard and fast really quickly. So, uh, and the opponent is only killing normal Pokemon instead of EX Pokemon. So we will generally be taking more prizes than our opponents are, hopefully. I, I mean, if everything is running according to plan. So I understand just playing one single N. Plus, if you need to play it in the later game, you have the VS Seeker for it. There's four Sycamore, which is wonderful because it discards Pokemon it, and it draws seven cards. <laughs> it's the best support in the game by a mile. So There's one training center. Um, don't really know why this is here. Maybe it's really good against a specific matchup. I don't really know. Uh, I mean, it helps trump your opponent's stadiums, if nothing else. I don't know if it's the... Um, if it's here for a specific reason, I, I, I don't know any of the cards are here for any specific reasons, but I'm just speculating, uh, as you guys will understand. Uh, I did not build a deck myself, so I can only speculate, but yeah, I, this is probably very good in some matchup, but I don't know. There's one Floatstone, hopefully you can play it on something that we can reuse, like the Slurpuff, that we can actually uh if we put it on slurpuff and our opponent every time our opponent kills one of your pokemon you can go with a slurpuff draw two cards and then retreat with it so you can take multiple uses of the floatstone it's actually the only retreat card that we use in our deck so we might have to play it uh it's somewhere else but at the same time we generally ride our attackers until they die so we don't really switch a lot with this deck um there's two silver bangles, I totally understand. Only two because the deck is pretty packed and it's always it's nice to have the extra damage off of the, um, an, a tool. There's four uh, DCEs, which is the main thing that we want to be playing to attack with Flareon. And also Odino, why not? There's two water energy, obviously for Empoleon. It's only two in water energy and two Empoleon, but most of the games we won't have two Empoleon into play. Um, so it's kind of like any kind of energy, but it, it's usual, use, usable with Empoleon, which is great. So I understand the two of them, and he's playing a single grass, I get, I guess, for the EV with energy evolution, just so that it can do that and evolve in the same turn. Um, that's what I think about the deck. Let's try to play it. I might make a fool out of myself uh, and lose a lot, because I have not played a lot with Flareon. And I have I am not accustomed to his uh, specific build, so might make a lot of mistakes here. I'm I want to say I'm sorry about that, <laughs> uh, but the most important thing here, I guess, is just so showcasing the deck and showing you guys the list because uh, it's pretty something that's pretty new from last weekend. Um, oh, we're playing a Swampert deck plus Empoleon also. Okay, and we have Ditto's. Okay. I think I can. I think I will play both of them. No real reason not to. To Piplups, we can put Pokemon on Ditto, or we can just bench them. So um, let's use Battle Compressor here. Let's see what we have. So don't have any electric Pokemon, but the Swamperts I think are weak against Lithium, so we'll try to go for that. Maybe I discard an Empoleon too. Let's see what we have in the deck. There's the both the, there's both cards of the Slurp of Flying. There's the Trump card. There's the Arches. Okay. And there's the Town Map. <laughs> oh, right. Don't want to play the Stadium. I think it will hurt us more than it will help us. I don't want to play the Flareons as well. And I don't think my opponent is playing Lasers, so I think it's safe to discard the Odinos. But I think I will go for the Arches and the Lysander Strump card here, because I don't really think we will need those. I think I'll keep the Battle Compressor still. Might need to discard extra Pokémon for our Eevees. So yeah, let's just discard all of this stuff. Let's Acrobike. Hope we get something nice. There's the Floatstone. Okay, I can grab that one. For sure. Maybe should have gone for the end. We can play the end though. Yeah, but now we will discard the VS Seeker, and that's not great. Yeah, but I think I will end here. Actually. 
I just there's not there wasn't a lot that I wanted to discard. So okay, next turn I can go for the Slurpuff and I can play the Jirashi X down. So I'll just keep everything I have in hand. I think yeah. Let's see what my opponent does here. Probably evolve his dude, which sucks for us. Oh, he does nothing pretty much. Okay, and there's a Sycamore. Wow, that was great. So I think I want to grab, I want to discard the Jirashi, and I want to grab the Swirlix. I don't think I need a Silver Bangle in this matchup, so I'll just discard that as well. And let's just grab the Swirlix. Where is it? Swirlix. I already played the um, Floatstone because I thought this Tito was going to get... Whoop! Undo last action. This is not what I want to do. I want to transform into this dude. Okay. Did it work? What happened? Okay, the game froze, but yeah, okay. I can even play the EV on the active. Let's see what we get of this Acrobike. Oh, there's the Lithium, okay. I will play the the EV, but that means I will be dealing only 20 damage, okay. It doesn't really matter, though. I don't want to put it down, man, come on. I'm always doing this. Okay, let's evolve, and then let's just play the Professor Sycamore. Fortunately, I need... I think I need to be using the Flareons later, or I will try to get the Archie's Ace in the hole going as quickly as I can. But I won't be able to do that now, so let's just try to discard more Pokemon like the Mr. Mime, that's not useful at all here. And then the rest is just attackers. Let's just grab a Flareon. And so there's two Eevee left, which is cool kind of make choices, so I think I'll just discard these dudes, okay. Let's put a Grass Energy here. Let's draw a card. There's a Necro Bike, I can play that thing. Hopefully draw like a, an Ultra Ball or something, we don't. But there's a Lithium that I don't think we need, so there's a Jirashi, okay. And then that's just Energy Crush. 40 damage, it's not much. Actually kind of sucks, but... Now we're dealing 60 damage. Okay, we can Lysander out a Pokemon that actually matters. Let's evolve this thing and play the energy here. Let's grab this dude and just... Okay, let's not energy crush yet. Let's just draw with Slurpuff. There's another Eevee, which is wonderful. And yeah. 60 damage, draw prize pretty great. need to be careful about the number of cards in our deck because it seems that we will have to take a lot of prizes but we still have... Ooh, he was kind of baiting us. Okay, and there's the Impulion. Enhanced Stammer, of course, Rough Seas. Muscle Band, 100 damage. There it goes. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, good news is I don't think there's any good news actually. Let's just try to grab a Flareon. How many Pokemon do I have in the discard pile? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Did I count what? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. 12 plus the 2 from the Flareon. It's 140. That's exactly the amount we need to for in Poland. That's also count the amount of. We have a double call of Sanji only, so we can actually. Do a lot here. We can play the Acrobike. Try to see how yeah, we get the double colorless energy, which is wonderful. Let's put it into our hand. Let's play it on the Eevee. Let's play. Let's play the Professor Sycamore, I think. Ugh, I did not want to discard both discard both of these energies, but I think I have to here. Okay, there's a Flareon. And now I think I have to give him the Lithion, I guess. Or just let the Slurpuff die. I don't know. It doesn't seem great. I think I'll just grab um, uh, an Execute and let it die instead of the Slurpuff. Yeah, I think I'll go for that. Let's just use Propagation. Do I want to draw here? I think I want to lie on the Strump card. No, I don't. I, don't. I want to grab the and pull in and kill it, so I don't think I will play anything else, and I don't think I will draw cards, so 
let's just play the execute and retreat into it and end our turn hopefully my opponent does not Lysander out our flare and if he does we are pretty bad okay so he's going for mudkeep Oh, Flarion is also going to die here, and that kind of sucks. I hope we can grab the second EV. Okay, I'll go for that. Let's see what we have in the deck. Not much, uh, actually. Uh, this is kind of scary. I won't play this energy, because I think I needed to kill the mill tank afterwards, but I, we are r getting really, really close to dying here. So let's just... I don't even know if this is what I should be doing. Yeah. I don't know. We don't have any way to shuffle our deck. I hope my opponent plays N or something. <laughs> And I also hope I draw the EV <laughs> that we need here. Please, 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 please be Flarion. It's not Flarion. I can draw it, but I will be left with only one card in my deck. Ugh, that sucks. That means we kind of lost, right? I don't know, my opponent might do a big mistake and just... Yeah, but if he kills our dude, it's the same, right? Yeah, so I think I just... Can grab the Flarion here, I don't care. Hope he ends me or something, I don't know. Yeah, we will die this way, so let's just... Maybe I did a mistake back there somewhere, I don't know. Most definitely did, I, I, I'm not an expert with this deck, so... Maybe shouldn't have pulled the trigger. And we are just dead. We are going to take... 100 damage, which is exactly enough to kill us. Yep, we're just dead. Let's just concede my opponent won here. I don't want to lose any more time, any more video time playing against him, because he just wins. Let's just go for another match. Hopefully one I can win. It kind of seemed from the things that my opponent was showing there that he's on Night March. Let's see what happens. Okay, we don't have Pokemon. Mm. How many Mulligans, man? Yeah, maybe should have thrown anything else in front of my opponent and just went for the Lysander Storm card. In retrospect, yeah, kind of seemed better. I'm still learning about this deck. Okay, so this dude is weak against nothing that we're that we are playing, so let's just try to grab an Eevee. That's not an Eevee, but this is. Okay. Let's play this thing. Grab this dude. I think Empoleon is going to be pretty cool here. I don't know if my opponent is playing lasers, I don't think so. I couldn't, can't imagine really a laser in... But yeah, we have Empoleons to this card, so all is good. Let's see if we have everything in the deck. There's the Lysander, Lysander's trump card. No Archie though, okay. We have to draw it from our prizes. Uh, let's grab an Eevee. And we will seek more, I guess. Which EV do I want? I think I want this one. Because I will be playing the energy on it. Sycamore. There's another EV. I will play that gladly. I can also play this thing just in case my opponent is playing something like a Seismitoad deck or something. And yeah, just pass the turn here. Can even attack with Odino next turn. If we want to go that route. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Pokemon already. 6, 7, 8. We need 50 extra damage, so that's 5 Pokemon. This is 1, and if we grab a Battle Compressor, that's 3. 
So we only need actually one extra Pokemon going onto the discard pile to be able to kill this Kyurem next turn. Would also need to switch, of course, but maybe he's going to kill Arodino right now. I hope not. There's a Nan. Okay, so actually, I think this is way easier now to grab the Flareon and just go for it. But yeah, nothing else from my opponent. Yeah, this we can definitely kill is due this turn. If we can retreat with Odino. Actually, that's kind of harder than you'd think, because we would have to grab a double call of Sanji. Yeah, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so what do I want to discard? Odino, for sure. Ditto. If we can grab them, we have them both. There's a slurp of, but there's no um, Swirlix, so I don't know. I think I'll keep it there. I think I need this dude into play, unfortunately, but I can actually grab more Pokemon to this card. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah. I need to discard 9, 10, 11. I need to discard 2 extra Pokemon. Let's go grab them. I think it's going to be Leafeon. Both of them. Yeah, I still have one. Yeah, maybe I think I, I I'm actually think I'm going for the slurp of here. Drop this energy. No, I won't drop the energy. Actually, I think I want to grab the double colorless energy if I can. So I think I will go for a, the. F I think I will go for the Leafion, the Flareon. Just so we don't we have more chances to grab that double colorless energy here and we do not but we do get this other flarion which I will gladly put down also do I want to play this energy or not let's think about it yeah I don't think I do it doesn't really matter that much okay let's play this thing because why not oh seriously yeah we, we yeah we didn't even we didn't even notice that that's kind of a mistake on my part so <laughs> Our opponent. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'll just have to let this Odino die. Or <laughs> I will also be making myself kind of vulnerable to his Lysanders, but at least we have Mr. Man to protect us from the bench damage from Kyurem, so. That's kind of funny. Oh, there's a Lysander, okay. What can we do with it? Was the Floatstone in the deck? Yeah, it surely is, because it's not in the prizes, so... Oh, that's that's one of the good things about... <laughs> about the town map, I guess. We know exactly the contents of our deck. I think I'll pull the trigger on his dude. I think I can kill it this turn. Or actually, I might just go for it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's count again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11. 160. If we battle compressor away, another one is 170. 11 plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, that's 107. Let's count again, because 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, I guess that is true. So I think I will go for that. I don't, I'm don't. i actually not really afraid of his Thunderous. Yeah, so I think I'll just... Might be wrong, but I think I'll just Vengeance here. Okay, might be totally, totally wrong. What do I even grab? I think I'll go for the Double Colorless Energy, just because it's so important. Although that Ultra Wall would be nice. And also the Archies, although I don't think I will play it soon, so I think I'll just go for the Double Colorless. Hopefully you can kill another. Yeah, maybe should have gone for the wall first, yeah. Yeah. 
there's a lot of damage coming our way. 70, okay. It's not that scary though. We want Achilles Deoxys instead, let's think. This guy does 60 damage. No, not 60, 90 damage. Doesn't kill any of our dudes so in one shot, so... Kind of okay with that, I'd just rather kill his Thunderous. So let's try to discard as many Pokemon as we can. So how many do we need? 3? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, we need 3 plus this thing, okay. There's another Eevee, perfect. We kind of need the Eevee in our hand, so I think I'll put it down. Play this thing here. And then Sycamore. Kind of have to. How many VS Seekers do we have? There's a lot to, to think about. We still have... Did I miscount? No, we still have one VS Seeker, yeah, okay. Okay, 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 so let's see here. Can... How many Pokemon do we need to get into this card? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay. 12 plus 50, it's 170, so Thunderous is going to die. Yeah. Uh, and I think I can play the Training Center just because, and I think I can play this Eevee just be because. I can also play this thing here, just in case. And we just have to grab the VS Seeker to shuffle our deck away. So I'll keep the Battle Compressor in hand to just go off immediately after that. I'll grab the Ultra Ball, I guess. Oh, I, I get to draw two prizes, of course. That's an EX, so let's just grab this thing, I guess. If my opponent kills this dude here, and he will, I think we can even go for the Empoleon next turn, although, okay, there's a Lysander Storm card, which is kind of lame, but at the same time, we will have an attacker for 20, that's not enough, I think I will go with, the, with this dude, yeah. Okay, so let's see here, I'll play the Flareon for sure, put this energy on it, because that's what we do, and then I will grab I can can actually go for the battle the ace, uh, arches is in the hole. Can't I? If I grab no Pokemon out of this and just battle compressor away, executes Empoleon. Yeah, I think I'll go for this. Grab nothing. Play this thing, grab an Empoleon and draw 5 cards, that's pretty cool. Let's evolve this last one. Let's also play this thing. We can deal a lot of damage. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20 actually. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. Just shave everything off our deck. It's not this one, I'd rather have this one, okay. Let's use abilities, this one. Let's just grab another Pokemon that we don't need, like the Leafeon, actually the Empoleon, and discard it for the other Empoleon. Dive in, draw, discard this thing. Wow, that, that was a super good turn. Let's just grab Professor Sycamore, because why the hell not? And then let's just Vengeance. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, my opponent just concedes. Um, the writing was on the wall. Next turn I could kill uh, any Pokemon that he presented. So yeah, this is the deck when it works. It's it totally blows the opponents away. But it takes a lot of um, knowledge and a lot of know-how to pilot it. So yeah, that's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, tell me what you think about me playing other people's decks, especially when it's uh, cool stuff like this. In the comments below. See you guys next time. Bye.